Oh, I don't know what to do for my next holiday. Have you ever tried rafting? Um, yeah, actually, I, d- I was a camp counselor one time for this high school program, um, and we did a week-long rafting trip in Utah. Um, I can't remember the name of the river, but there was about 20 kids, and we carried all of our food and camping equipment on the rafts, so we would pack every all the students would help pack up everything onto the rafts. We would go down the river for about three or four hours a day. Then we would stop at a camp spot. We would have to take all of the food, all of the camping equipment off, and then the students would have different roles. So some students that day were in charge of cooking food, for example, and they had you know, prepared a menu and all the ingredients for that day. Other students were in charge of setting up all of the campground, you know, the tents. Um, other students were in charge of like, building the fire. It sounds so like on. the students are doing a lot of work. What did you do? <laughs> we're organizing, <laughs> making sure they're all on their rolls. Organizing. Cracking the whip. <laughs> um, so you stayed in a different place each night? Yeah. It's, so we were, we were, you know, camping. We actually had to carry every supply that we needed for an entire week and carry it all on the rafts. Did anything go wrong? Um, yeah, it got very cold for a few days. And a couple of students, actually, um, we went through rapids. So I don't know. Do you call it the same in yeah. was that British exciting? English? Uh, it's exciting, but it was a very cold day, and it's very rough. So a few students fell in. And what happens when they fall in? It's very dangerous. You know, everyone wears a life vest. So um, I think they are all able to swim anyway, but you have to wear a life vest. And they teach you to try to face your feet downstream because there are many rocks and things like that. Oh, so you don't hit your... That's right. If you're going head first, then you could... You know, the water's moving quickly, so you could hit a rock or something. So you try to go feet first, and then everyone has a paddle, so we try to paddle the raft over to them as quickly as we can, pull them back in. But, you know, we were still maybe an hour and a half from where we were camping. So being completely wet like that, (laughs) you know, you're so cold until we get back. Did anyone take a camera? Oh, of course, yeah. There's tons of pictures on it. Um, But what I find most about trips like that, like sometimes when you're so cold, you feel terrible, you feel miserable, but it's such a group experience. Like you really get close to everyone and you feel like uh, you feel so much closer to everyone after you've gone through a a challenging experience like that. After you've had to pull your friend out of the water. That's right. (laughs) That's right.